hello everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we are up, gonna be up against um the tycoons the monsters top of the tops cap mixon all is the dawn and uh who by okay and uh yeah so uh, i'm gonna be with excalibur 77 and karafaki so uh, the map is razor blade let's go jump straight into it and see how it uh, how it un unfolded yay okay here we go i'm gonna be the green excalibur will be the yellow and karafaki will be the red player okay so instead of starting it off with the uh, usual um emergency i'd rather start off with the construction since the next thing that i'm going to be building is the power plant not the barracks or factories uh would rather start with the construction boost instead of anything else my mistake was the emergency boost at the start okay so there you go we gather the containers shipyard okay getting those uh supply centers out as well and then gathering the um containers on the ocean well my partner already uh, gathered majority of the containers on land oh and there's one right here okay we have to get this one okay yep so we actually did decently here uh, although the the purple guy is so fast in his shoes as well not to mention he's using a delta okay super container appearing right here as well as around here and uh, we got here um god of Baki and excalibur okay i don't have anything else to be honest to support them with apart from the four climates that i have so i'm actually waiting yep and there you go the wait is over the the, the purple players went here to support uh cap mixon against uh katafaki on that super container and they actually waited until that super container appears before they tried and jumped at it very smart play if you're gonna be asking me now of course we're gonna be using the uh, kaimin <laughs> since it's the only thing i have at the start i mean yeah i mean it's not good obviously karafaki will be losing that um wasp along with some stuff here because of the delta in the cerberus and so on meanwhile i added two more supply centers develop my base and then obviously another shipyard level two i'll use the two uh, initial kaimans to scout what they have and uh, let's see my partner here he actually did not get the container as well excalibur okay very good scout going hq level three going hq level three as well for all those the dawn and uh, yep but um the purple and cap mixon is at god of Bucky's base causing some damage with that cerberus and of course no dust no deltas same thing for all those the dawn he's actually trying to do that one shot jump active skill on that full hp armadillo i mean yeah tier one hero doing that to tier two um vehicle with one shot i don't understand how is it that strong see <laughs> one shotting an anti-ear with its active ability oh my goodness if that's not op i don't know what is boink okay that server is done katopaki managed to uh somewhat well expel the attack here as well on the other hand, I'm going HQ level 4, and I'm going to have Leviathan as well as the Shipyard. In order for me to attain that, I'm going to have to sacrifice some of the units produced. Instead of producing an alligator, I'll be producing or base developing, or developing my base, obviously, for additional Shipyard, level 3 vehicle factory, and that juicy X facility. Meanwhile, my partners are doing great here in terms of re-establishing their base, and uh, not losing too much against the initial attack. From both Olus the Dawn and Cap Mixon. So we skip it, uh, skip. Okay, they spread the scout across the map to see where there will be an attack of any Seraphim Rush or anything of the sort. Okay. Level 2 research facility for that uh, hero. Okay. Using the Kaiman here once again to scout, see what they have. 
Okay, going HQ level 4. This guy already has HQ 4. And a ton of Vikings at that. So this guy probably has X facility level 2. Similar to what I have. And we're be very similar. It's just that he has a sky higher skill rank. Higher starting resources. Higher containers obtained or resources obtained for each container at the start. So he actually got a head start on me. Thanks to his skill rank. Level 3 X facility for Cap Mixon with 2 special vehicle factory and 2 vehicle factory. And uh, this guy is almost the same with the exception of that Avia factory at the start. Here goes the Ser uh, Seraphine causing them some damage to that wasp. Bye bye. Okay. And I believe there was another one right here. And so. Oh. I'm pretty sure that there was one. Okay, Seraphim came back here, active skill, destroying that uh, power plant, I believe, and there was that... Oh. What? How did that... Seraphim knew. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, I only got this much right here for an armadillo or, like, alligator. Okay, so three porcupines. What a strong Seraphim. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Karapaki getting positioned in, or getting ready to intercept that uh, Seraphima. And me getting, uh, you know, in position to gather this super container. Now, Leviathan is out. This guy in defensive formation along with some... Uh, Units or factories at the back, which is well played, to be honest, so it can't really be sniped that easily. I'm pretty sure that the Seraphim is just around the corner. <laughs> Waiting for this army to move around. Okay. And so we see an army here. Level 5 HQ for him, I believe. And ooh, he's actually have he actually have more Vikings than my alligators because well, technically, a Leviathan is more expensive, and so on. Okay, there you go. And he doesn't really have a hero at this point, so I'm just going to have to use this army and to be destroyed. And, uh, well, basically, it will allow me to somewhat get more in position around here as the defensive line, along with the Leviathan. Okay, so... Wow. Just wow. I don't know that how that happened, but yeah, it did. Well, anyway. I will lose that, and that's normal since he has more Vikings. Here we go. And this time around, it's time for round two. Let's go. This time with the Leviathan launching the nuke now. Okay. Enemy will actually gather that super container. Bam! Okay. And here we go. We got like two... Poseidons around here. Okay. There you go. I'm actually moving outside the range of those Vikings in the hopes of sniping those Poseidon and uh, technically have my Leviathan go over here to attack those Le those Vikings that can't really fire back at my um, Leviathan. And there you go. Just like that. Oh, and Excalibur actually helped out with his Leviathan. What a nice partner. Okay. Oh, and at this point, I'm using a recovery boost because basically this battle is won anyway. Or that engagement has been won. Meanwhile, Katapaki moving above this cliff. Checking if he can siege the opportunity. And oh man, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, and that Seraphim... Okay, at the top, it's going to launch the skill. Will he? He actually did. Tons of, tons of uh, damage on uh, that. Oh, oh, nasty. Did not really destroy a bunch of stuff there. Just an armadillo. Solid hit with the uh, nuclear around there. And again, we see here, Olus the dog. Having the same kind of thing going on here. With the exception of a cyclone and the seraphim around there. And me, on the other hand, just solidifying my position in the middle of the map okay so we uh, expound here just a bit Seraphim has been destroyed let's see how this goes around here with Olos the Dawn 
Okay, and uh, partner Excalibur. There you go, Seraphim uh, Leviathan Nuke. Kablooey! Damage about 20%. Well, we know how that is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and help out my partner here, Karabaki, um, since the units are actually closer on land, which can, you know, somewhat derange his formation into facing the back of the, uh, you know, facing the back of those uh, Zeus towards those Jaguars, and it's not gonna be a great deal for uh, Cap Mixon to face the back, you know, retreating back here and there. Okay, we got like the Wolverine here. And ooh, hero from that guy. Okay, getting rid of that Leviathan with the uh, Seraphim. Oh my goodness, man. Like, seriously, man. Just how annoying this is to see your hero just be dispatched by a level 2 or tier 2 hero. Okay, here we go. I'm using an air raid boost here. Oh, and that Seraphim managed to destroy Karapaki's um, Leviathan that has more than half HP and it's trying to go over to my location. Me trying to uh, damage Olus de Dawn, softening up the attack. Bam! Okay, I'm thinking that's good damage. And I'm actually... Oh, wow. Okay, so Cat Mixin actually came back here for more trashing. I'm going to have to retreat for a moment since I don't want my army to be flanked by the purple player's vikings. Okay, so he has that army spread going on in there. I destroyed that barracks because I'm planning to go albatross here myself. Okay. Nothing really crazy here so far. Okay. I'm just going to have to go into a nice formation here to scare both the sides. And I see a lot of Vikings here from this guy as well. Okay, and uh, more alligators here from my end. Got a Faki in a very good formation. Okay, Excalibur actually uh, have that nuclear setup going on in there. Now, I've actually waited for that Solaris here. You know, there's actually a trick with this Solaris. Um, you see here, this army or this setup. Those Vikings are going to end up trapping yeah those vikings are gonna end up trapping that solaris and can't retreat and uh yeah the moment i saw that solaris i actually attacked and focused all my alligators on that uh solaris and there's absolutely no way you're gonna get away with that man okay bam okay and now it's time to run away beholder has been destroyed and uh, only the only thing left here are the mass of the poseidons there's like five and the rest are four, well, Vikings. Solaris at the top of that cliff attacking my Alligatora. Okay, more Alligatora here on my end. Nuclear from Excalibur. A good exchange here of uh, nuclear from the uh, Leviathan and so on. Meantime, I, ma I still managed to destroy those, those uh, Vikings due to, well, lack of Vikings. I have more Alligators. Okay, and there you go. Oh, wow. Wow, that Seraphim is strong. Okay, here we go now. Oh, that is very dangerous, my friend. Okay, now. I'm going to have to try and focus on those Vikings and then kill or destroy the Poseidons later on while outside the range of those Vikings. Now, let's uh, definitely check every now and then our partner's base. Okay. Solaris here from uh, uh, Cap Mixon. Oh, we see a huge chunk of a land ball right there. Now I need to establish my ground here. Oh my god. Okay, I need to see this. I really need to see this, man. Okay. Let's see. I just want to see this here real quick. Boom! What? Yeah. That's rank 27, dude. <laughs> okay, so we go back here to Karapakis' uh, place. Okay, and so I'll use my Leviathan along with my uh, alligators that's left over and attack Olus de Don's army around there. Meanwhile, Cat Mixon is taking a beating here due to lack of typhoons. Okay, Karapak is positioning his army right there, and I'm just dominating the ocean here and assisting. Whoever is in need of trouble, like if you want to need help, 
conquering this terrain. I got you, man. And uh, my partner here as well. But he's not making any aggressive stance. He's just going for another nuclear. So that's completely fine. Now, if you notice, I switched to air raid and then switched to air attack or common attack because the air raid gives up my Leviathan more view above the cliff giving my alligators more time to fire and then immediately switched over to come and attack as this gives additional re range and speed as well as damage to all units that I have. Okay, there you go, man. Any damage is welcome here, dude. Any damage at all is welcome. Come on, come on. Okay, better watch out for that purple guy. He might go in flanking me again. There you go. Kanupaki's taking this time. Taking this opportunity to attack while his army, or while the army of Cat Mixon is out of position. And now, as I thought, the blue guy, or the purple guy, is actually attacking me from the side, flanking me. And, uh, oh, this is what's left of Olus Dedanza's army that actually lived that nuclear. He did not even bother using recovery boost because if he did, those um, Zeus would have been full HP by now. And he's not even using his full army for Excalibur here. He's just using a few of his army. Uh, you just look. He baited those doors and that's actually a good play. Going back here to Katafaki who has had a huge advantage at the start due to the formation of those Zeus and Shield are actually out of formation. Now I'm going to have to try and assist him once again as he returns to his base. And uh, looking at it here. Okay, saw where the nuclear was. However, the nuclear is already ready. Oh my goodness. And now I'm gonna have to take this opportunity again to help out Katafaki who is in big trouble as he only has this much land army composition. Okay, now here we go, here we go. Ooh, purple from this side. Okay, come on, destroy that Solaris. Yeah. Okay, flanked, and I'm not gonna have to retreat. Okay, oh wow, another nuclear out of that army. That is big. That is very big. Oh no. Wait, will it hit? Will it hit? Oh, bam! Oh, oh my goodness, man. There's absolutely nothing left here for Olus the Dawn. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to have to retreat for a moment here since I was caught off guard and uh, Katafaki actually took a beating here and uh, still managed to contest this uh, area with my help earlier and this time while the purple player is retreating I'm going to have to take this opportunity to at launch the attack here and destroy that Solaris once again using the Vikings as the walls to obstruct the escape route of that Viking or that Solaris and then immediately launching the nuke out of that um, clumped up Viking Poseidon force as I try to eliminate as many Poseidons, as many Vikings as I can. And uh, meanwhile, taking out the anti-air capability of this army. Looking back here at um, Olus the Dons' base, it's actually in big trouble as only... Oh, wow, he got like a ton of Thors. Oh, nasty, nasty shot there. Oh, and the Seraphim from the purple player is going on over here and then this purple guy's vikings will be shredded one by one bitten by the alligator okay g g man g g not much they can do about this now since uh, my partner actually got a very very sneaky sneaky tactic that they were actually i think kind of not expecting and uh, i think i was right though <laughs> Okay, so Cap Mixon actually take, took advantage of this uh, confusion with the nuclear and so on and so forth and attacked this guy right here. Um, Cap Mixon, or Katapaki, took advantage of Cap Mixon's there. Now I'm going to have to get into formation to attack and destroy the purple player and the, end the rest of the game. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Because if you did, again, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Likewise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh, and don't forget to check out my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. And also, my guides playlist and other playlists there on my channel for more Art of War binge-worthy content. Thank you and have yourself a great day.
Bye-bye. GG.